hey, I just want to get on here and do another little video. I noticed the last video that I posted, I went back and listened to it and realized I sounded very sad, almost teary-eyed. Uh, that day, there was actually a, a little pressure right here on my chest and it, oh, it was almost like um, hard breathing or, or being able to, to talk like that. And so that's why it sounded like that was. It wasn't a sad cry cry tone but I just want to let you guys know that's what was happening there um but anyways all along this way I know that um at the very beginning I felt like the Lord had told me that we were gonna go on this journey and hike up this mountain but it wasn't going to take me out in the end it was going to be stories of his faithfulness just to share all the way through and so um I just got done hearing a song um, off of YouTube it was called Million Little Miracles. And it's so true that we are sitting in a million little miracles surrounding us every day. Even just waking up and having breath in my lungs and getting out of bed today is a miracle because some people cannot, cannot do that. And the way that God just provides and, um, all that he does, he, he has brought, um, you know, be able to go through what I'm going through and having peace. I mean, what a miracle is that? And just all all the little things he's done um, crossing my path along the way through this. It's just been amazing. So I have a little miracle happening. It's kind of, kind of, um, what I don't know if I should share, but you know, I'm going to share it because it is a story of his faithfulness. And I know at the very beginning, um, they were, when they first mentioned breast cancer, they said that one of the things that was feeding the cancer was the estrogen within my body. And so um, they wanted to give me um, some kind of medication that would stop that. And then it wouldn't be something that would be feeding uh, the cancer along the way as they would treat them finding out that the treatment would, would just slow things down, but not really cure. We didn't go that direction. Um, and, and a part of me didn't want to just take on um, the medication that would kill that. I was, I was kind of like, well, I'd rather have um, it just go natural because naturally in women, it does go at a certain time in life. And so if God could just do that, I just turned 50 last year. And so it's about time to, to hit that menopause phase. So anyways, um, recently I was just saying, God, if you could just take that. So it's one less thing to even think about that's concerned if, if the cancer was still trying to survive or, or thrive in my body, which we're believing that it's, it's not, but, um, cause we're praying against that. But, um, if it was and the estrogen was affecting that, if you could just bring me through menopause naturally, um, then we wouldn't have to even think on, uh, of that. And he did you guys. So anyways, it's kind of a silly little miracle that I'm sending, but every day that I wake up and say that I'm not going through that cycle again, and he has stopped that, um, it makes me so happy to know that he cares about even little silly things like that. That seems almost like a silly prayer to pray to go through menopause. But you know what? Um, we did and he did it. And so it's just awesome. So that's a miracle. And I just want to share that because it is a story of his faithfulness. And um, oh, he's carrying us through this. Uh, every day that I'm just I'm being able to just sit and rest and relax and, and, and heal and stuff. Um, I just am able just to um, think on think on the things that God is doing around me and through me. And um, it just it just makes me smile seeing he's right here, right here alongside me going through this. So I just wanna encourage you guys in that, that I know that um, there's little miracles we're sitting in and I hope today you see a miracle that's right in front of you too.